Hello everyone, this is Ashley from Ashley's Creations. I'm sorry I've been gone for a long time. Um, life just kind of got in the way. I, I have been creating a lot. Um, not lately, but I have been doing a lot. And it hasn't really been cards. It's been a lot of other projects. Um, I've been doing a lot of t-shirts for my co-workers. So we made a... Michigan teacher shirt and I made some shirts for the first grade team so I'm working on some pineapple shirts for my my team so I made these from my coworkers and they have our names on the back so um, that's what I've been doing a lot of lately and my principal asked me for 60 thank you cards back in May for Teacher Appreciation Week, so I did make 60 different thank you cards, so maybe at some point I can share those as well, but um, anyway, this is something that I have been working a lot on lately, and I'm obsessed with it, so I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. I made my own planner. I loved having a planner when I was in college, and I would write in all the time everything that I had to do. Um, I was student teaching and I had a lot of things I had to write down. I just put my assignments in there all the time and just I used to write down like things that I would do. Like if I went to the movies, I would write that just so I would remember that later later on. Um but lately I just haven't really found the planner that's worked for me. So I tried the paper tray ink one for a long time. Um well I actually didn't even get very far and I tried it for a couple months and then I didn't use it for the entire year, but then I bought the new the new one when they came out with the new one this year but I still didn't really use it, so I kind of gave up on that one. It was just too small, and it just wasn't the layout that I wanted it to be. Um, and then If you like planners, you know that it's really hard to find a planner that has everything that you want all the time. Um, it may have some of it that you like, and then you don't like some parts of it, and then you like parts of a different planner, and you wish you could just combine them all in one. Um, so that's basically what I did. I made my own planner. So I saw this thing on Pinterest. I was, just, I think I was just scrolling through Pinterest, and I saw somebody who had made their own DIY planner, and I thought it was really cool. So I clicked on it, obviously, and I read through it, and I went to the Teachers Pay Teachers um, link that they had there, and I bought it, and I was going to make that planner, but then I realized I didn't really like the style of some of those ones. So I just went on, on Teacher for Teachers and I was looking for different planner ideas and I found one by the One Stop Teacher Shop that I really liked. Um, and so that's the one that I decided to use and I want to go ahead and show you everything that I put in there. Now I did get the Staples Arc Punch so that I can make my own planner. So I used this punch to make this. So you just pops up and you stick your paper in there and you can punch your holes. And then I used the Happy Planner extender rings. Um, these are the medium discs, but there are different sizes. Um, I just, I was going through and I just really liked the way that this planner looked. And I like how it was customizable and I like how you could pull things out and put things in as you thought about it. So I've already added a couple things to my planner as I've been going. And so I really enjoy it. I've only been using it for about two weeks now, but I absolutely love it. So, um, anyway, it is compatible with Happy Planner stuff, though, so I did buy the Happy Planner, um, pen case, and I bought some Happy Planner covers that I did put on here as well, so I put this April Flowers one on there, um, and then I bought some of the teacher dashboard things, too. So I did buy some of the Happy Planner stuff to go with it, but I didn't want the Happy Planner itself. I wanted it to be customized to my own, um, my own liking, so... Um, the One Stop Teacher Shop had all, all the different um, covers that you could pick from. So this is the one that I love the best. I love flowers and I love purples. And this one just really spoke to me. So this is the one that I picked. So, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, um, I wanted to use it not as a lesson plan book, but as just a planner. So mine's a little bit different and I changed it around from the template that she had and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So um, I'm going to skip that page real quick. <laughs> you guys don't need to know where my school is. Um, so I included my class information. So these are just my kids' names and their pictures and their birthdays and the medical stuff. And then um, 
I did a month at a glance here and I put in this quote from the one the first binder that I had bought she had a bunch of different quotes to pick from so I picked that one and printed it to go along with my year at a glance calendar and hers went from July to July and so I was starting mine in May so I just went ahead and I extended it to go from May all the way through um, July but then it stopped and I just so I just kept going until I had filled up two whole pages so I changed that up a little bit and then I created this perpetual birthday calendar that I could put in here and I just printed this off yesterday so um, like I said I have been coming up with things as I've been going so I haven't put anything in here yet but um, I have a place that I can write all my birthdays and then here's my weekly plans um, and I picked one of the other covers that she had and I used it for my month cover and I switched back and forth between blue and pink dots for my months so anyway um, I included the month at a glance here so on the back of this is the month at a glance and then this is how I changed what she had so she had Monday through Friday or is it, it was um well, how did she have it I think it was it was Monday through Friday and then there was two subjects so you could do two different subjects up top so I changed it so that I had Monday through Thursday and then I made it a second page so it said Friday through Saturday and then I changed it to work and home because I'm not using this as a lesson plan book I want to use it as a planner from home and school so different things that are going on in my life so um, obviously you can see I've got things that are going on at school so we had no school um, we were practicing a song together with kindergarten class we visited um, the first grade or no, the pre-k visited us we had a science fair um, we had family appreciation day things like that and then I also wanted to include things for home so I completely changed this around to fit my needs because all the other planners that I had they had more things that I didn't need more boxes or not enough boxes they didn't have it split up so I really like the way that this is now split up and then I have a spot where I can write my notes down and then since I'm in grad school I added this little section for school assignments so now I can have my readings and my assignments on there and when they're due and then at the end I'm gonna flip to a page where I fixed it I changed that so at the end after the last weekly plans I put this notes page so I can take some notes and then I put an extra notes page and then I put um, this was one of her templates that she had so I put this one for every week so now I have a place that I can do all my to-do lists and different important things that I need to do so there's all four weeks in June and you can see that I had a lot going on this week and quite a bit already going on next week so um, that goes through all the way again going back and forth between the different colors now I haven't actually finished my planner I only printed out through March because I've been busy making these for other people because they really wanted them too so um, <coughs> yeah I need to go back and finish mine but yeah mine ends in March as of right now so I gotta finish mine but for right now I guess I don't really need further than that um, and the next piece of information that I added in here is my small group lesson plans I'm really bad about keeping notes of reading groups and things like that so I thought maybe if I printed this out and put it put it in my planner I would be better at keeping notes so it's got a place for the date what group number it is what book level they're on what book title you're reading um, what goal or strategy you're working on for the week and then all the different names and like some notes about the kids so I put a bunch of those out and then the next thing that I added was my meeting notes so we go to a lot of meetings as teachers, so um, I thought it would be good to have a place in here where I could write down some notes about what we learned about if, it, if I needed to. Um, and we also have to have a professional development log where we have to put all the different meetings we've been to and we have to update it every time we go to a meeting and send it in so that we can verify all our professional development hours. And so I just added a place for the date, the meeting the meeting name, who led the meeting, and how long it was because we have to add all that information into our PDL. And so this is something that I created from one of her templates. I created my own template from that because I wanted 
to be customizable. So like I said, this is a completely customizable planner. It has everything that I need in it. Um, and then the next thing I added was Common Core Standards. So I used her um, page template and I created my whole own set of Common Core Standard lists. Um, I never really liked all the different lists that I found and so I really liked the way that I did this one. So I put all the different standard names and they have three different places that I could put where I taught it or that I put it into my gradebook. So my problem is is that I will put it in my gradebook and then I don't remember which Common Core standards I've already graded. So this way I can at least, I don't if I don't put the date, I can at least check off that I put it in my gradebook. So there's um, ELA, math, these aren't Common Core, but it, the social studies glicks that we do, and then science, next generation science standards. Um, and then the next part is a spot for daily thoughts. Now, this is what I love most about being able to customize your own planner. In a happy planner, you don't have any space for notes or reflection or anything like that. Um, I guess you could use maybe one of the boxes in there, but I mean that's not necessarily what they're for. And they might not be big enough one day, you might have a lot of things to say, so um, that was a hindrance for me. And then for the the paper tray ink planner, there wasn't enough pages. And I had gotten the dies to make more pages, but then that was a pain in the butt that you had to make more pages. So this way, if I need more pages, I can just print them out and punch them and add them in. But this is a place where I can d reflect daily on something that um, happened in my life or something that was important to me, um, maybe what I was grateful for that day or um, what my favorite part of the day was, and I've already started writing in here. So um, I just have all, I have the day. I have my thoughts, and I'm writing every day in a different color so I can see um, where I've ended. So even if I don't have anything else to say, I just maybe would write something small for each day just, just so I can look back and see what I've done. Um, and then I can always add more, and I can eventually maybe turn this into its own little notebook and have um, just a notebook for my daily thoughts as it gets bigger and bigger, and I can reflect back in later years and see what I was doing. Um, I think that's really special to have. And then the next thing, um, and, and my other coworkers binders I, or planners, I put student data, but mine just has other planning resources. So I've got their data in here, so um, their grades. I can go through and add more if I want. Um, I'm a mentor this year, and I'll probably be one next year too. So um, we have to keep track of how many hours our mentors have because sometimes they're not very good at keeping track of how many hours they have so um, my one mentee had some there was he was missing some dates in his PDL so I had to go back and look at every single thing that he had done and write it separate and count out how many hours he had just to make sure and then the other mentee they told me she didn't have enough hours when I was pretty sure that she had enough hours and I had to go back through all my data on all my all my notes that I had taken and check how many hours she had and it was just a pain in the butt. So I figured, <coughs> excuse me, that I can just jot this down really quickly after each thing. I can just put their name, put the date, the date, the length, and the, the type, but I'm not going to record the name because that's too long usually, but at least I can see how long and how many days they've had. And then at the back I added the, um, one of the Mambi Happy Planner folders. And then there's the cover at the back. Another thing that I'm going to add, but I just haven't yet, and I saw it on Pinterest today actually, so I have to go through and figure out what I want to put in there, is a book list. So I'm in a book club, and I'm part of the bookofthemonth.com. If you love to read books, I highly recommend you go to bookofthemonth.com and join up for Book of the Month Club. It's really cool. <coughs> you get to pick a hardcover book every month, and it sends to you, and then you can go online and discuss the book with other people who have read it. Now, I don't actually do that part. I just like getting the books. And you can add two extra hardcover books to your box every month for only $10 a book, which if you've bought a hardcover book online anywhere on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or whatever, you know they're like $20, if not more. So the fact that you're getting a hardcover book for $10 is an amazing deal to me. So um, I have a whole stack of books that I want to read a um, whole, whole stack of books from my Book of the Month Club that I have to read and then um, other things I want to read too. So I want to do a reading list of things that I want to read. So that's something else I want to add to my planner. But um, in case you're wondering what pens I use, I use the Flare pens. I love these. 
So that's my planner. Now I also made a planner. I have made five of these now, you guys. That This right here is the fifth one that I've made. I made one for two of my kindergarten teacher friends. <coughs> um, one for my sister to give to my niece's teacher for the end of the year school gift. And then this is another one for my my um, first grade coworker. Now hers is a little different though, I thought I, thought I, so I thought I'd go ahead and share this one with you guys too. So um, again, here's the Happy Planner cover. Um, and then here's the style that she picked. It's the blue jean style with some lettering, which or with some chalk looking flowers, which is really cool. And then, so there's the planner information sheet that I already filled out and I flipped quickly past. Um, again, information sheets. So here, these ones don't have anything on them, so. Um, birthdays, photos, medical information. She liked this quote too, so that's the one I gave her, but there were other ones to pick from. The birthday calendar. Um, and then she picked this animal print cover for her months, and then she asked me to add tabs, so I added tabs onto hers. So you can just quickly flip through the months, and hers are all the same as well. With the weeks, oh wait, no, so I'm sorry, hers are different, but they have the weeks and the, um, the notes and the, the, the to-do list. So she actually wanted a teacher planner, so she's going to use hers as a teacher planner next year. So hers is a little bit different, so that's why I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. So, um, I made one, I made two like this, and I made three like mine with the home and work. So this one, I put the Monday through Friday across the top. And then I put ELA, math, science, social studies, art and health, and then a place for things that she needs to do at home or um, if she has things going on at home that she can put there as well. So she can use hers as a teacher planner and she's still got the notes on the side. And then she's got the small group, the PDL, Common Core. Now hers was first grade so I had to go through and make a whole brand new set of these which took a while but okay. Um, she wanted the daily thoughts section, student data section, and then she's an instructional coach, which means she goes, she's kind of, she's not admin, but she goes and she does walkthroughs of certain teachers and then sends them notes. So she wanted a place where she could do that in her binder. So um, she can put the teacher's name and do the just the one teacher on this page and it's got a date, time, and then some notes that she can dot down. There's two for each page for her. And then she picked out this this cover too or this folder so um <coughs> I'm really excited about these I'm loving them as you can tell I've already written a ton in mine so here was here was last week here was this week that we just had I've already got a bunch of stuff in here here we've got kindergarten graduation right here and then I'm gonna be doing summer school this year because um something to know is that Andy and I have moved we sold our house we are now living in my parents upstairs for the next six to eight months while we build a brand new bigger house and my craft room is going to be bigger in the new house it's going to be um, a rectangle instead of a lo a weird loft shape so I'm going to have a lot more space. So when we move and I get that all done, I'll have to share that with you guys. But for right now, um, let me give you a quick... This is my space right now. So I've got some bookshelves here. And then my ribbons over there. And then another bookshelf away over there. And then there's the stairs down there to get down. And then here's my desk, obviously. So it's not my desk, it's just a table. So it's not really that fun, but I brought as much stuff with me as I could. So um, anyway, I'm really enjoying this planner. Like I said, I've made five of them. My coworkers are absolutely loving them. And it's something that I've been working on for the last couple weeks now. So I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys something that I've been working on because it's been a while. So um, yeah, it's a lot more fun to be able to customize your own planner and make your own planner so if anyone's interested in maybe ordering one or seeing how I made it more or getting more information about it just send me a message and I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye